Often in our lives, when confronted by hardship, we don't know who to turn to for advice. It can be hard to turn to others as we might feel that their wisdom won't be applicable to our lives. St. Hedra sought guidance from church elders and used it in his spiritual journey. We too should demonstrate his willingness to be guided by the wisdom of those more knowledgeable and experienced than us. Isn't that right, Jessica? Yeah. <laughs> On the 12th of Kiah, St. Hedra, Bishop of Aswan, departed. From a young age, his Christian parents taught him the fear of God and love of the church. When he was 18, his parents wanted him to marry a relative of his, but he refused under the excuse that he was ill. That morning, he went to church early, seeking the wisdom to deal with his situation and for God's will to be revealed to him through the readings. He was comforted by what he heard. As he was leaving the church, he saw a corpse being carried to the cemetery and thought to himself, saying, It is not this one that has died, but yourself who has died from this futile world. After the deceased was buried, he did not return to his home, but joined the monastery and lived among the monks. His family exerted many efforts to return him to his home and fiancé, but they left with grief-filled hearts when they failed to convince him. Saint Hedra practiced intense worship and asceticism through continuous fasting, uninterrupted prayers and numerous matanias. He became Saint Pyramid's obedient disciple and was guided by his teachings and good example. Eight years later, he asked to live a solitary life in the desert. He was granted permission after being told to read the biography of Ambantonios to learn to fight the temptations of Satan. He roamed the desert until he found a cave which he inhabited. In the many years he lived there, he fought against many tribulations and temptations he was faced with by the devil. He isolated himself in his soul. Nevertheless, they brought sick and possessed people to him, who he anointed and healed immediately. Syrian monks came to him about confusion in the scriptures. When he explained to them, they marveled at his wisdom and knowledge. When the Bishop of Aswan departed, the people took St. Hedra against his will to be ordained as bishop. He taught his people about the way of life and practice tirelessly. From St. Hedra, we can learn to persist in our spiritual discipline while also maintaining our humility. As St. Hedra applied the wisdom of Ambantonios and Piomen to his life, we too should learn and be inspired by our church elders and guided by them in our spiritual journey.